Hello everybody, my name is Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager and the Snowflake. And today we're going to be talking about how N7 Day has given Mass Effect fans a little hope. Supposedly. So, saying that, that contradicts my last video which talks about N7 Day, how it was a boring, barren, broken day for Mass Effect fans. Because nothing really excited, exciting happened. No big news were really announced, you just got a small little video showing what N7 Day means for people. Although it was a very tiny, tiny video to celebrate how important it is. So it's very, it very summarized in one paragraph or less. Um, so yeah, I talked about how there was really nothing special planned for uh, N7 Day or anything for Mass Effect. But as I've done some late digging or recent digging on the internet, which was just me typing in bi uh, Mass Effect news or Bioware news, that's, that's my late digging, guys. I'm sorry if you expected me to find algorithms and statistics, but no, Google makes it a little bit easier. So N7 Day, uh, as I mentioned with the little trailer that it showed, uh, was showing a few experiences that people have with, with what Mass Effect means to them, and then what N7 Day means to them. And then, at the very end, Casey Hudson says a few things here and there, and then he dr looks at us for a little bit, and then he drinks his coffee and then goes back t to work. <laughs> and apparently everybody thinks that's him saying there is another Mass Effect game. And I'm here to tell you that, of fucking course, there's another Mass Effect game. Like, duh, there's going to be another Mass Effect game. Don't don't we remember things from last year? Like, they never said it was dead. They just said it was just put on, on ice. You know, I would even call that hiatus because if it's hiatus, that just means it's like completely broken. And, you know, it's like a band goes on hiatus. They they don't make music. They, they don't. They just completely separate from one another. Mass Effect is still a thing. It's not a, a, a scattered tattered thing it's just frozen okay it's still there just it's just nothing's really been happening to it besides getting a mass effect andromeda patch for xbox one x which is okay which is not so bad you know it's better than you know it's free updates better than nothing you know for a lackluster game um and it'd be nice to see that treatment with mass effect trilogy remaster but who the frick knows it might come eventually uh, EA does like making a pretty penny uh, every now and then, <laughs> every now and then. So, like I said, N7 Day with that little supposed teaser of another Mass Effect game. It's, I'm just gonna say, guys, it's it's just like I said, it's blatantly obvious that this game is being made. Uh, the next Mass Effect, whether it be Andromeda 2 or Mass Effect 5, whatever the heck you want to call it, and it could be nothing. It literally could be nothing, you know? It's just him saying a few words and then him pa panning over just to look cool. And it, it could be simple as that. But, but I will admit, they are somehow keeping the Mass Effect name alive by this update and then adding Anthem uh, Mass Effect N7 armor in the game. So, you know, that's usually a, a kind of clever way to show that there's still support for the franchise, which is really nice of them to do because it's not completely dead in the water, but I just don't understand why people just get super excited with little things like that when when it's already been stated countless times by me and by anybody else. So if you're one of those people that got really excited about this, I want to know why you got really excited for this. Why was this brand why was this brand spanking new to you with, with this? supposed little hint that we got that people are just kind of blowing it out of proportion and i say blowing out of proportion because if you type in mass effect news it's like literally that's all the articles are it's just but we're hints at a new mass effect game whoa there's possibilities i'm like yeah no shit so i'm trying not to repeat myself by saying like it's so obvious that they're gonna be working on this you're gonna get another, okay, I'm just flat out. The fact is, you're gonna get another Dragon Age game. You're gonna get another Mass Effect game. You think you think EA, you think Bioware's gonna wanna be done with Half-Ass Andromeda and then not continue Dragon Age story? No, but EA holds the reins over Bioware and EA wants to try to make 
some good money. They want to make good, good cash, make some hardcore money. And then, you know, you can just look at some Twitter posts by Casey Hudson, you know, talking about some Mass Effect stuff, Dragon Age, you know, he, he does drop, he does drop nice little updates about his favorite franchises. So it's nice of him to do. He's still, he's not just being a part of the Bioware EA nightmare train, you know, and just kind of just blowing people, you know, you know, shoving them away, you know, keeping hush hush and afraid to speak his mind about certain matters. No, he's, he's pretty open about it. And, uh, you know, I, I've said a few things to him as well about, uh, some things I didn't like about Anthem, you know, because, you know, they, they call it an RPG, but, you know, well, we don't know that it's not really an RPG. Or is it? I'll let you guys decide. So anyway, uh, as I mentioned before, I want to know what you guys are thinking on this. Was this just like, just, you know, beating a dead horse already? It's just like, duh, type obvious. Or if this was brand new to you guys figuring this out, I want to know, like, what took you so long to realize that this was already a thing that was going to happen? Now, let's just, another fact is that there is not going to be any Mass Effect Andromeda DLC planned. I, I just know it. They're just going to move on to the next thing. And those remaining uh, plot holes could be used in the next game to figure out what the hell all of these means. A lot of those plot holes, those big ones that we all know, like the Benefactor, um, the, the, the civilized, lost civilization, we don't really know where they come from, or, you know, whatever, same... Re rehash story of Mass Effect trilogy. To be honest, whoa, uh, uh, a lost race. What what do they stand for? Who were they? So stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Anyway, guys, thanks again. I've been Nikita Legend, your Snowflake host. Um, I'm signing out, Pathfinders. I know I'm not wearing an N7 hat or a Pathfinder hat. I'm wearing a Mario hat, and uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to deal. So anyway, thanks again, guys. Yeah, this closing statement, was this really news to begin with?